Today I am going to be sharing this budget-friendly, delicious risotto recipe with you. It is meatless, but I am telling you this now, it is absolutely delicious and a definite must try. Right, so the first thing we are going to do is get a pan and bring it up to heat. And then we're just gonna add in some olive oil. You wanna be quite generous with this because you're gonna saute off some onions and garlic in just a moment. So in my onion dicer, I have got one white onion in here and I've also got three garlic cloves. I absolutely love an onion dicer because it means you just do not cry when you need to dice up an onion and it is so quick and easy. I'll link this down below because it's a good one. Add your onions into your pan and then just saute those off for a few minutes. Once your onions and garlic has sauteed for a few minutes, you then want to go in with your risotto rice. So for four people, I don't cook 100 grams per person. Oh. I do just a bit less because I do find risotto quite filling. So I've got 300 grams of risotto rice in here. I'm gonna pour that in there and then I'm just gonna let that cook for a few minutes until your rice kind of goes a little bit translucent and then I'm gonna add an ingredient that you cannot miss out. Something that I think is pretty essential when you're making a risotto is to add some white wine. So I've just got a really cheap bottle of white wine here and you can just keep this in your fridge and it can be your cooking wine. So you just wanna add a generous glug of that. And don't worry about thinking it's gonna be alcoholic-y because it will just all burn off through the cooking process, but it's gonna give it such flavor. So that has basically absorbed now. So what I'm gonna do is start adding in my stock. So what I've got here is one stock cube so far, and then I've got 500 mils of veg stock. So I'm just gonna slowly add that in. I don't wanna add it all in at once because you just want your risotto rice to start absorbing the stock, and then you add a little bit more. So bit by bit by bit. So you can actually turn your hob down a little bit now so it's more on a high simmer um, so it cooks slowly because if you cook it too quickly then you'll find your risotto rice just is a little bit raw in the middle and then what I also like to do is just pop a lid on as well to keep all that heat in your pot so this has been cooking for a little while now but what I'm going to do it's not finished yet because I'm still adding in water you basically want to add double the amount of water that you have well I did 700 mils of water that I've got here, which I will add all of it into. So double and a tiny bit more. Um, and then that's going to enable your rice to puff out really nicely. So before it finishes cooking, I'm going to add in some chopped sun-dried tomatoes. I have got some of their juices here as well. And then I'm also going to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then what I feel makes this dish the best is by adding some borsan cheese. So this is the garlic and herb borsan cheese. So it's packed full of flavor already. And it's just gonna add so much to this dish. So what I've got here is half a borsan kind of round, and I'm gonna add all of the half into it. This is gonna make it super creamy, super cheesy. This is kind of to replace any cheeses that you want to put on this as well like any parmesan you don't need to add it because you've got it in your sauce already adding my last bit of boiling water oh you always want to have boiling water by the way because otherwise you're going to kind of take the cooking process down every time you add in some new water you're going to kind of stop almost the whole cooking process by adding cold water so always boiling water right last little bit of cooking and then we're going to add in the final ingredient guys we're nearing the end now there's lots of different ways you can have your risotto i quite like it when it's a little bit saucy but i know lots of people like it quite dry so you can just basically cook this for as long as you like to get the right consistency for you. Last thing we're going to do is get a generous handful of spinach and just stick it in there. Let it wilt down and then you're ready to serve. And there you have it, your super simple, budget-friendly, meatless, but deliciously creamy, cheesy risotto. That is so good. Oh, that is absolutely delicious. Some days I think I could be veggie. Other days I think not.
That's good. Oh, that's delicious. 